you what's up, it's Fat Boy Dan here. Nothing but redneck fishing all year. Fishing videos with all the beer and fun only at FatBoyDanFishing.com. The place for one of a kind type fishing with Fat Boy Dan from Indiana, you won't miss a thing. The greatest catches and product reviews. Catch them all with Fat Boy Dan Fishing videos. Live to fish, fish to live. It's Fat Boy Dan Fishing. FatBoyDamnFishing.com Yeah! Hey, what up? Fatboy Dan here. I'm bringing some how-to tips for the Redneck Lawnmower Demolition Derby. You're probably thinking, hey, can I do this? Can I do that? Well, I'm going to answer some of your questions today. And if I don't answer some of your questions, Leave your comments below and I'll get back to them if you're on YouTube. Check this out. First of all, I'm going to say, here's the Redneck Lawnmower Derby. I'm going to be running. Yeah, my other Lawnmower Derby, I'll see, you know, you probably see it back a little bit. Well, it finally had to retire after seven derbies. That's right. Lawnmower's been seven derbies. Back to this one, as you can see, this is Tonka. This is Jasmine's. Um, she ran it. And, you know, I didn't feel like building another one. I know hers was already tough. But anyways, I'm going to run my daughter's Jasmine's. But say, here's some how-to tips. Because I'm beating hers up. All right, let's start with some. Uh, First off, let me show you when we said self-tapping screws you can use. Here's your self-tapping screws as you can see in my hood. That's right, tell them. Uh, right there in my hood, you know, your hood comes together. It's not always tight. And uh, sometimes you get banged up, your hood wants to shift around. Well, this, with the self-tapping screws in it, lined up around your hood, makes your stuff a little bit stronger. Say somebody's going to kick in your front door, these are kind of like deadbolts all the way around it. Not using bolts, but self-tapping screws. And you're probably thinking, hey, How's this dude got these big wheels on this? I mean, come on now, I'm representing Tonka. I gotta go big, right? But here's what I'm doing. The big wheels, I mean, this is a fabrication. It's a whole nother story, a whole nother time. You can put bigger wheels on your front. Bigger wheels on your back. Make sure your backs don't exceed 12 inches. As you can see back here, come this way a little bit, and I'll show you what else we're talking about. As you can see back here, I'm rolling some tractor grips. Once again, 12 inches maximum on your rims, which is your tires, the same thing. You can run duels. These right here, these babies were running duels at one time. As you can probably see, you'll see in this picture right there, you're probably looking at my old lawnmower I used to run duels on. Mean. Also, you can run car batteries. I don't have a place for this one. It's just a car battery fit. And it's here where my, car, my little baby battery went. Little baby battery fried up. I don't like them. I like to run a car battery. Okay, so if you're going to put your car battery in between your legs, make sure you got the room. Make sure your battery is not loose hanging around. I want that battery, I want that battery secured down. Straps, ratchet straps, anything you can get, bolt that down so when you get knocked, it don't come sliding out like that. Okay, also another tip, you can weld leg guards for people, you know, that want the leg guards. Tell them about their leg guards so you don't crash your leg up, right? Yeah. <laughs> your leg guards. And then you put them anywhere from here. Coming around to here, okay? We, these are strong enough, they took a lot of hits. You can weld them to here, to here, however you want, but make sure that they're not protecting your bumper, you know, your, your, your mower. Make sure they don't come wrapped all the way around, big old circle or wrapped all the way around coming up here. Weld them to the frame if you like, but just make sure they ain't real big, you know, 50,000 feet long. Just, you know, I even got self tapping screws here. Um, some of the other stuff you can use, uh, your pulleys say so you want your stuff to go super duper fast okay well as you can see i'm on my other mower i'll show you right here i have i have a smaller pulley on the back you probably look at yours you're gonna have a great big pulley well a good tip is if you want your mower to go a lot faster take your pulley right there that you see down there with the belt on it put the smallest pulley you can find on it plus you're gonna have to change your belt but then you would have crazy top speed for hard hard okay. hits all right also, you can run, you know, I can't pop my hood open at the moment because I got a self tapped one. But you can run any size lawnmower motor you wish, whether it be a uh, five horse pull start, eight horse pull start. You know, you can even run the pull start, but if you run a pull start motor, you must be able to start your motor. You know, you know, I think we got to start it where you, you got to be on your mower this time because if you step off your mower to start it, the 90 seconds is on you. So make sure you can start it from your mower or just get off the mower, start it, 90 seconds is on you. Regardless of that, I'm running a, uh, I, I think it's a 16 horse V twin, two plus on it, but of course it's a lot more motor once again. Like I said, you can run your pipes up. You want to run your pipes up? You can even run them like I'll show you on my mower over here. Say you want to run your mufflers up to the hood? I got mufflers up to the hood right here. 
This right here, all this is flex piping. I cut my mufflers off, ran them up. You can run car exhaust, motorcycle exhaust, however you wish to do it. Run up to the hood or just cut them off with the manifold. Say you're wishing for a little bit more throttle response because your throttle itself ain't giving you the power you need. Okay, well maybe rig you up a uh, shoestring, piece of wire, maybe even a metal coat hanger like I did. I got my coat hanger ramp to where my old throttle used to be at. That's on my retired driven mower. I still ain't done the job with you. But see, this one, as you can see, pulling, it's coming straight down. And when my motor's running and I pull that baby back, then it's giving that extra gas that this throttle won't do. This tire's flat. Okay. Thing is, it's not all the way flat. You can even run, uh, say you can run foam in your tires. You want to run foam? You want to run fix it flat? You want to run green slime? Another good tip is, take your beads, super glue them. Epoxy glue them, Gorilla glue them, however you want. Keep your tires on the beads. That way you still got some kind of little bit of air. But you know what? I'm not running though. I'm running the big boy tire. Okay, so that's it. Say you got a mower, got a good hood and everything, but check your mower, make sure you ain't got no weak spots like that. Now see how that all just collapsed in? That's plastic. You can change your hood. So you got a plastic hood? You don't want that in the derby. Because look, that happens. Now you're exposed to your overhead valve, your spark plug. Whatever comes in handy right there. But I'll tell you what I'll do. I do this. Change it to a metal hood. This one had a plastic front end just like that one. Now look what I got. Now I got a metal hood. Hey, that can withstand that. It can withstand a lot more beating. Oh, also, bumper, you're probably thinking, how's it got a bumper? Well, that right there was a factory craftsman bumper. Some lawnmowers do have factory bumpers, some that comes around curving. You can run them. Don't go out and build your own. This right here is a factory craftsman bumper. Sides got broke off, they got bent back, and mine's cut them off. As you can see, you're probably thinking why this axle's out so far. Another good tip I did, some of these uh, places are hard, hard to find. You know, maybe go to Indy or, or some of your local uh, parking places. This one's a single axle. They got five wheel adapters now. Slides over your single axle, adapts to a five lug pattern. Ain't that right, Hunter? Give me five. Team Tonka, baby. We represent. Hey, you, what's up? It's Fat Boy Dan here. Nothing but redneck fishing all year. Fishing videos with all the beer and fun only at FatBoyDanFishing.com. The place for one of a kind type fishing with Fat Boy Dan from Indiana. You won't miss a thing. The greatest catches and product reviews. Catch them all with Fat Boy Dan fishing videos. Live to fish, fish to live. It's Fat Boy Dan fishing. FatBoyDanFishing.com